podcast episode 18 18 we are close to 20 almost there five months can you believe it <laughs> five months I'm at this thing <laughs> um once again this is the camera talk podcast my name is calvin aka chef cal uh britney hill in the building uh raven will be back like i, I I've, I've heard things about us Xing her out, but that's not the no, case. No, <laughs> she is very much one of us. She is, I tell you all the time, you know, her spirit is still in the building. So she's still with us. Um, she will be with us in a couple of weeks. We are super, super excited. The week of we, the ninth, she'll be healed, kind of. Like, I, I don't know what I'm going to have to do to get her over here. It doesn't matter if I have to go pick her up. Like, I don't care. Right. We get to have <laughs> Raven Hour, guys, y'all. <laughs> Cannot wait for that. You know, you, you know I, the energy's gonna be <laughs> busting out. I told her I was like, she she had posted, uh, she had reshared some things about the podcast because Raven's still been active. You know, she's still been given ideas. She's still been a part of the process. Absolutely. Um, she had, had posted something, and the thing that I said right back to her, I was like, Raven hours. We yeah. need Raven hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just the hours. So uh, we'll be excited to have her back, guys. Um, but. This is episode eighteen, so we have to we have to get into a couple things. Yeah. Um, let's start off with Space Jam. Brittany did the exact opposite of what I was like. What I like asked her to. Let me tell you, <laughs> I had every a hundred and fifty percent intention of finishing Space Jam, guys. I did. I like it was on the, the schedule for yesterday. My my son kept me busy all day. Like I lived from nine o'clock a.m. I didn't get home to like six o'clock p.m. Like that was not the intention. I was supposed to be with him. We were supposed to have. I called it Sunday. We were having our Sunday. S O N D A Y. It was our Sunday yesterday. Um, but I thought that was just gonna be a little bit. I thought it was gonna last like noon, and it, it extended longer than I planned. Um, and it, if anybody knows me. I am a freaking planner. So I woke up with my day. I was like, okay, we got to do X, Y, and Z to this time. And then after this time, da, 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 da. So I had allotted my Space Jam time in my day, in my plans, and it didn't happen. So that was not that it wasn't planned. It was on my schedule for my day. Let's smile for (laughs) all. Let's do it. Okay, uh, so we had to get a little uh, as as people pose as frame. people really don't know. Like there are, there are people behind the scene, a person behind the scene that actually takes all the photos. Hold Robin, it down. Was it A or B? C. 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 Robin holding it down behind the scenes. <laughs> what well, did it go off? No, 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 no. Does go. that make sense, guys? <laughs> don't worry about the technical difficulties. Difficulties. We're giving her a shout out. Yeah, Robin Hill. Uh, once again, she's been a very important part to the behind the scenes. So you think we take pictures of ourselves? We think we're not taking selfies. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> like literally at all. Like she has a camera right now, like taking a picture yeah. of us. But she doesn't want to be on the podcast. She will one day. <laughs> For sure. I've been trying to entice it. Look, it's five months now, so even prior to the podcast with us all three, this has been about six, seven months. Yeah, yeah. If you're not wanting to come on the podcast. She, <laughs> you know what? I think what happened, if y'all get some do say in her system. Do say. Then. She would do say it out a couple right. days ago. <laughs> Shout out. Robin, our behind the scenes person, just had uh, celebrated her golden birthday, 27. Golden pickle. So uh, she was gone <laughs> off the yak. She was gone off the drink. She didn't realize the bottle was almost gone. She was like, I don't know. I'm not drunk. I'm like, ah, you might be. <laughs> Probably are. I didn't drink half of it, I had a couple drinks. <laughs> That'll do Shots. it. I was not ready for that. You weren't ready? They were hot. You was hot. You was hot. They what? were hot. <laughs> 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 so, uh, of course, shout out to Robin, whose birthday was just the other day, July 27th. She had a great time. 
the process of the podcast doesn't just exist with people in the camera or yeah. who are in front of the camera and things like that. There's a lot of things that go on when it comes to the, the actual podcast as far as like, well, I can say production now. Nice. I can that, use the word production. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> and when people come in here, they're kind of like excited. Yeah, absolutely. Safe space. Dope area. Um, what, I'm saying something. What was I saying? Safe space, dope area, production. Production. Um, Is that transitioning into guests coming? Space Jam. Space Jam. (laughs) So imagine you grow up your whole life and uh, Space Jam, the original, came out in 96, 96, 97. Sounds about right. Uh, And then a Space Jam remix comes out. So hold on. Did you watch the original? Absolutely. Okay. Just want to make sure. Because there's some actually, people that actually, have... Actually, I have the DVD right here. Oh, nice. Still <laughs> original. So did you watch the original prior? Did you like, you know, refresh? No, no. I know, no. I know the movie from start to okay, finish. Okay, okay. It's been a long time for me. So I probably need to refresh before I do a thorough analysis. Because I have heard mixed reviews. I have heard people say, oh my gosh, this is blows the other one out of the water and then i heard nothing can touch the original like this is not nothing compared to the original so for me i would definitely have to finish i have to go back and watch the original then watch the new one to give my honest input so just imagine if the titanic was remixed with black people (laughs) for me that's how i felt the titanic just remixed with black people Ain't nobody going down, bro. Like, the, the ship's going to get fixed. We're going to figure that shit out easily. We're going to handle that. Space Jam, the original. Michael Jordan is a terrible actor. Let me be honest. LeBron James is a terrible actor. Okay. But if you have more resources on the way versus 20 years, well, what, I, what, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, so I, that's to be expected, right? So technology's gotten way, way better. better you know so that's you know when you compare apples to oranges like of course as far as resources technology this is going to be a better overall film you know but if you just look at the basics storyline what they had versus what if you give michael jordan everything that we got now we can't are you a michael jordan like connoisseur like i mean that was my era oh no 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 so you like the uh, the reason i brought up the titanic right was because how epic it was as you being younger Yeah, yeah and if they remade it with just black people and like any any kind of minorities moving forward we still gonna fuck with it but the majority of the universe is not gonna fuck with it same thing with the Space Jam thing. Like I'm, you, I'm, you. So, I don't know why when you said Titanic, Black, Soul Plane popped in my mind. Exa- that is, That's the is, first is, thing is that Soul popped Plane in our Titanic? It, is it? <laughs> it feels like it. It can be, right? Because that's the <laughs> first thing. going that, down. Because that's the first thing. Yeah, some shit was going down on the plane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it didn't go down like the iceberg, but it was some shit was going down up in the air. So, I'm trying to compare... <laughs> <laughs> Titanic and Soul Plane, if that is even a thing. I feel like it, it, it might could. be. And we, we made it out. Like yeah. everybody, right? And Soul Plane was kind of dope. <laughs> you know, like you can't. Imagine Soul Plane, if, it, Soul Plane is Soul Plane. You know imagine I mean? if, like, on the boat, like, if we're talking Titanic and they was playing trap music. Yeah. Like, people going to get to a. <laughs> Let me tell you something. People gonna be hyped, but like you yeah. got you gotta be sad even playing the going, violins the right. whole time. Like even going down, it's like catch Damn. me in the trap. <laughs> it's going down. Catch me on the boat. Do- it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like like it would still be lit. Like even going into the water, like we gonna be turned the way all the way up, right? Turned the fuck up. Can you imagine? Like I just. The only thing, if, you know how sometimes there's parties after the club, right? I mean, uh, you know, parking lot pimp, all that stuff, right? The only thing is, I feel like it would be some fights over some icebergs. 
Cause like If you try to pull up On my iceberg And start to go down Like we gonna have to fight Like get the fuck off my iceberg Like I'm trying I'm trying to survive But so that's just I know I went off On a tangent there No but. no That's the whole point Of the podcast Is going on a tangent That's what Like That's what we do But I kind of feel like That would be lit <laughs> But let me tell you I would Be some bougie I would be like I would have to get On one of them little boats Like I don't know What the fuck Like y'all thought This was <laughs> I'm getting on one. I'm getting my little seat on one of these boats. Y'all not just gonna roll. You think you just gonna roll past me? It's not going down like that. So you didn't want Space Jam? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, like it, it's like there's no comparison because people are comparing athletes to athletes. This yeah. is movie versus movie. Space Jam was a great movie for its time. This is a great movie for its time. In the grand schemes, and people keep saying this is a kids movie. Yeah. First of all. Spoiler. It is in the movie. The clown it is in the movie. Oh really? And every Warner Brothers character that exists is in the movie. Everyone. Oh, that's dope. So the Matrix, it, like, it's all in the movie. Yeah. You can't compare. Like I I promise you, this this okay. this movie is okay. better from start to finish than the original. And people don't like LeBron. And I had a conversation with a young lady at, um, at the gas station the other day. And I had this shirt on. And she said, damn, I didn't like the original. I was like, you wasn't even alive when the original started. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck so that's are you not talking a fair about? assessment. <laughs> I, I, I like LeBron. I like LeBron. I'm not a LeBron hater. So it definitely, I feel like I would give an unbiased opinion. But that's not the point of the movie. Like, I know, not, but you, not, you just said that some people don't like LeBron, so they don't, you know. The people who really don't like LeBron are like 40, yeah, 50. Yeah. <laughs> and a little back bit, in my and day. A little, and a little bit lighter. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> back, back in my day, we played basketball by sh- hitting people in the face. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, what? <laughs> what are you talking Y'all about? Y'all also probably played half court. Half court? <laughs> if you had a court. And if you was defending, you wasn't punching people in the face. That's not basketball. Shut right, the fuck right. up. Relax. LeBron is great. Give him his props. People don't know how to do that. You know, people are natural haters. That's awesome to uh, actually go into like the podcast idea as far as um, guests. Um, like I've, I've encountered a lot of guests who like. I don't. I don't tell you guys about it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just because like it's irrelevant for me to talk about it while we're recording or or, or, or any getting kind of ready thing. for the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's irrelevant for me to be like, yo, this list of people is red flag. Like, no, uh, I, I take it upon myself to make sure like y'all 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 have to feel safe here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if I invite just randoms and people that just don't take this opportunity serious, yeah. You know, like it's it's important that I make sure that. That doesn't happen. Absolutely. You know, for y'all safety, my safety, my home safety, yeah. and things like that. I think that uh, Marissa, at the highest level, took that and ran with it. Yeah. Like she appreciated it at a high level, and most people do. Yeah. But they don't really like. I'm not after the person who has a thousand followers anymore. Yeah. Like I'm not. That's not what the point of the, po- the podcast is. Yeah. Um, Marissa took it to another level. She actually promoted this at the highest level I've ever seen any guest yeah. in the whole of the podcast from yeah. start to finish. I think that's amazing. I'm not expecting everyone to do that. Yeah, and yeah. that's not what this is about. Right, right. So um, I only well, say definitely that. give you um, kudos. You know, to you know, definitely providing a safe place for your co-host, for your guests. You know, just everybody. You know, it. it it's. I don't think everybody understands um, the the work that goes into it, even beyond just having somebody on. You know, mm-hmm. there's there's different levels that you go Absolutely. through, a different process. You know, before you even have somebody on. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. Um, yeah, we appreciate you for that for sure. Yeah, and, and I appreciate that too because, like. It's just like I, I don't think people understand what that process looks like, yeah. and then they get here and it just feels warming. Like I, I literally yeah. just want to make people feel comfortable yeah. doing things because if, if it was the opposite and I was coming to someone's place and like talking about my yeah. my uh, anything, right? Like I just want to feel as comfortable as possible. You know, something that um, 
I've only been on one other podcast other than my own. And when I had went there, like it was the living room area, like it just it felt comfortable because, you know, uh Shorty's husband came out and just shook my hand on some really cool stuff. Like the energy yeah, yeah. was just there. Like yeah. it wasn't like I had to knock on the door and just wait for a response. Right. Like and the same thing I try to provide here. Like yeah. I'm gonna come out and get you. I'll t- I'll tell you the address, but I'm gonna come out and get you. Yeah. You know we can talk before if you have some questions, whatever. Before you walk into this, and that, that's perfectly fine. So. And even um, when every every guest leaves, you walk them out. Absolutely. So because I want to hear what they thought, like the thought yeah. process. I want to make sure they got home. Like yeah. I want to make sure, like you drive away from here. You know how to get out of here. Like I don't want to put any. This isn't. It's a business, but it's still at the same time like a a very important entity. Yeah. You know, so I, an important entity versus business sounds different. So. Yeah, yeah, and a, a level of not intimacy is the word, but let just being safe and and when you because when you invite people here you Mm -hmm. know some of the people some some guests haven't um met myself or met raven so sometimes they don't know exactly what they're walking into but you've already provided you are you know us so it's still ensuring that they are walking into a safe place and i feel like everybody feels that when they get here and then when they leave like they feel good about Everything that's taking place on the podcast, so, and I and I leave the I leave the room open for concern. Like I, I tell people all the time, I tell them what it's going to be, where it's going to be, whatever the case may be. But I always give that kind of level of concern for any individual that comes in contact with me, as far as the podcast goes. Like, yo, if you felt that you didn't articulate what you truly wanted to, yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you didn't feel uh, you like meant what you said, yeah. I cut the line there. I tell people all the time, like, I'm going to post it regardless, right? So, but I can kind of like work on the edge of like understanding. Like yeah. if you, tr- the train's going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, You're going to be, you're recorded. And I tell people before this, you're going to be recorded. There may be pictures, there may be video. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like I have no yeah. idea what it's going to look like, but I, I can tell you like, you're going to be recorded at some point. And it's going to be on social media. So say what you mean and mean what you say. Yeah. Yeah. That's every because, person. Because uh, <laughs> don't be mad at us. If, you know, years down the line, some, somebody, you know, uh, the trollers, the social media trollers like to go dig up. So if they dig up something that you said on the Can We Talk pa- podcast and it comes back up, don't be mad at us. Because Calvin gave you that disclaimer. Absolutely. And I think I was scared in the beginning, like, I don't want to be responsible for someone like being a jam. Yeah, but yeah. now I'm just like, you know, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> be careful, because y'all know the Gen Zers. <laughs> they are super sensitive. Okay, so they will go looking and they will find it. They, they, will. Will, they will listen to every podcast episode that we have and come back and be like, you know what? Robin said X, Y, and Z. Did you say. get just like a regular picture of us through the process? Mm-hmm. Like just regular, like with us mic'd up and headphones? Mm-hmm. You want to take another one and then you can come on? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> on this, Other way. Oh, what are we doing? What's mine? What are we doing? I need to stop tilting my head so much. Well, I'd be, after we take the pictures and I look at them in my head, be like this. And I really don't feel like my head be that far over. But then in the pictures, they'd be like, damn, like, I'm going I'm to I'm gonna have to do something else. <laughs> I try not to lean. Did I lean? <laughs> and this is still on the podcast, guys. I, I hope people understand. Like, this is the whole process. That's all right? Like, we, okay. We do a whole lot of shit here. Like, this, yeah. is, this is not... I'm normal. Like I want to make yeah. sure that this is as pure as possible. I think our our listeners know that we do a whole bunch of shit. Like <laughs> it comes with it, but that makes us us, you know. People don't know that though. People don't understand what the dynamics look like for a podcast. Like they don't even they have like uh, Kess has become an avid listener. Like she DMs me, comments, and says yeah. a bunch of shit all the time. Like yeah. yo, I kind of you know I like this is my favorite podcast yeah. now. Yeah, I'm like because it's honest. Like you don't the people. That people traditionally listen to at this point, they have no idea who yeah. we are. 
My um, same with my friend Nancy. Shout out Nancy from Atlanta. Um, she's an avid uh, a, a, a listen. What's the word I'm looking for? Abolition. Yes, that one. Every ab, she be she waits. You know, even she even that she's messaged me episodes where I've been out sick and she's like, oh no, you weren't there, but I listened to da 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 da. So you know, she every week. And we got um, uh, shout out to uh, who was who? What was the country I said? Kenya. Who? Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. We got our. Shout out to the countries that are listening to us. Like, I don't know why it's displayed in uh, Anchor as Great Britain. Like, you're still like England. Yes. <laughs> uh, Canada. We Hopefully got New we'll York on, listening to us every week too. We got yeah. a lot of people yeah. listening to us. I mean, people think that Weekly, once again. But I'm saying faithful. We got a faithful listener, so I want to shout them out. And you know, one thousand percent. And I want to shout out to people who don't understand the process. Like. I put this fucking shit on YouTube for people who do not have streaming services. Yeah. And it's free. Like, right. Put this up for free. Right. Like, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to pay for it. Right. Um, yeah. So, anybody who has a problem with that or thinks they know what the numbers look like, you don't. You don't. And it's funny. It, it's kind of comical. It's I think. Um, fucking hilarious. Yes. That, um, but, you know. We welcome all of that, right? Because you, you take the good with the bad. So even people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about, that's fine. You're, you're talking about us, right? Exactly. And um, it, it, it's, it, it's just, it, God, it's just so funny. It is. It really it is. It is so fucking funny because, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> well, <laughs> I could speak on some things. Some of them that, that want to give out... Uh, <laughs> Negative uh, negativity. I like, know. What are you doing? And how do you think this even works? Like, do you, people who watch celebrities and think that's how normal people work? I think, too, a lot of people. Sickening. It's so funny, like, when people have so much to say about things that they have no idea about. Like, I, where does that even come from? You know? Jealousy? And, I guess, yeah, because, <laughs> like, um, even, you know, I feel like some people go with the intent of looking for something negative to find so they can go back and say something. So let's just say, you know, we posted stuff on YouTube and the numbers were through the roof. But then I feel like they would listen and find something in that podcast to pick apart to shit on. You know, it's going to be something. When people go with that intention, they're going to try to find something negative to speak on. You know, it would it would have been something else. I embrace it all. Uh, me too. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, uh, it's kind of like the saying, um, even bad press is good press, right? Because. That kinda, I don't believe in. I don't believe in that. that well, press. so I kind of do because the reason that I say that I kind of do is kind of like take WAP, for example, when, when you had, yes, when you had, you know, Cardi B had. Republicans in an uproar, right? Talking about her, you know, they're spewing all this negativity, which led other people to go look to see what these people were talking about negative, and that made the shit go. Not only were, you, were her supporters streaming it, listening to it, but then you had haters streaming it and listening to it just so they could talk shit about it, and you made. I don't know. Did she go gold? Did she go? I don't. I she. Broke who even, records. Who even knows what that means? Like, who even knows but, what the stream, like, I don't. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> but she broke records. That's all, that's my point. But even some of the negativity got her there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So sometimes negative press can be a benefit. I, you know I what think, I'm saying? I think that in in that sense, it's it's not the negative that like puts you on. It's the positive message that you like the whatever you're doing. And I do want to talk about this. Like it's like an extensive conversation but like uh when it when it comes to like that aspect the people who are going to not like you anyways were always never going to like you yeah yeah, yeah. like uh low nas x i think the dude is brilliant because he he's telling you what he's doing and you still like it's i i equate things to basketball in, like my whole life okay <laughs> like he's telling you what he's gonna do how he's gonna score and you can't defend it 
Yeah, yeah. Like, he's telling, he's like, yo, I did this because I knew you guys were not going to fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm still going to score. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I think that that, that kind of molds into the, the conversation you're talking about. Like, right, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to score regardless. I'm yeah. going to go get, to, I'm going to get a basket and then, regardless. And then, you know what I like is I like when people, because, like, people like Little, Little Niles X, Cardi B, you're going to have people on both sides, right? You're mm-hmm. going to have people. But I like when people like you throw that out there right and this is kind of what i do right when and this is what i've learned right so you throw it out there whatever they put their music out there they did their videos x y and z and then they just sit back like you don't give it any energy when you don't give it any energy i i feel like that pisses people off even more that's what i started learning to do is like okay you're talking shit okay you i feel like you're trying to Take me out of my element. I, I, at this point, mastered that. Can't you, nobody take yeah, me. Can't you, nobody say shit to you're me. You're trying to disturb <laughs> my peace. You you want me to go there because if I go there, then I'm gonna give you a reason to talk all your shit. Oh, the ex, she came. Da, 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 X Y Z. Da, da. But then, but I'm not. I'm not gonna give you that energy, and that stirs them up even more. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I, so I'm like, okay. Have, have fun. You still talking about me? You still talking about me? Absolutely. Like, go ahead, right ahead. Like, it's been, what? It's been two months? That I have not even, I, I don't even speak your name. But that's neither here nor there. That's, it's kind of, it's comical. It goes back to, like, people, you know, just talking their shit. Like, it's, it's comical at this point. So I just laugh and wave. Hi to y'all. Bring it down tone-wise. Like when you're talking? Oh, am I too loud? Like from I've set parameters now oh. on the on the mixer, so like anytime. So I'll be yelling. My voice carries anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it does. No, I've just been I've been I've been watching it, but like like if I talk like this, it's too loud. Okay. So the parameters are like cutting me off every time. But anyways <laughs> That's kinda like when I joined the Air Force. I tried to just fade in the background. You know, mm-hmm. like, I don't know if you heard anybody say, but you don't volunteer for shit, right, when you're going through basic training. So I tried to, like, just, but Be. then my voice, like, I, I guess I just have a presence. Yeah. My um, drill instructor was like, we want you to be an element leader. I was like, what the fuck? I don't want to be in the front. And then I'm in charge of these bitches. That if, so when he was not in the dorm, like, when he had to leave at 9 or whatever, if these bitches don't clean up right, then I'm glad to do push-ups. So, yeah, my voice just carries. And I, was, I don't even be asking for shit like that. But anyway. <laughs> my bad. I'm not trying to yell at y'all guys. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I, with these mics, I think it's a different element. Yeah. Versus the original shit we had. Um, these are the new ones, right? Yep. Yeah. These are the ones that... Uh, what C says, she, she was like, well, she was poor when <laughs> Robin was born, her drink. Oh, yeah. She, oh, she was like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> it really, it was like, damn, like, we're in a high definition movie is what it sounds like. <laughs> like, surround sound. Um, that's, that's a, that's a dope, like, kind of conversation. Like, that C conversation, I, in, in Sierra Dotson, there's her name. I call her C. Y'all don't call her C, and she'll fuck you up. But that whole conversation was like, really, it, it, it just was dope. And you know, it was very, I love raw and authentic. You know what I mean? From start to finish. Um, like, you guys don't even realize, like, that conversation was so raw and authentic that we had topics that we were going to hit on. And we didn't really get to hit on anything just because the conversation carried itself. Like, you know, that's amazing. You know, like when you can just have that dynamic with people like. Absolutely. And, yeah, like, I loved it. Um, I, just, I, I was big up C because like. I, well, I won't say a lot of people, but people do see similarities between me and her. But we don't see it. Like, me and her don't see the similarities. Yeah. Because, like, we're so passionate about yeah. anything we do, anything we say. We're yeah. intentional with everything yeah. we say. And, you know, a lot of things that uh, she she did say, you know, for me just resonated. Because uh, people don't know. Like, there was a um, kind of a, 
a void between me and her for a long time. Yeah. Like a long time. And for me, anytime I have any issues with a person, right, my first step is to try to have a conversation. Yeah. If that doesn't happen, um, I try to encourage a meetup or any kind of like just us being around each other. Yeah. If that doesn't work, I, I leave it alone. Yeah. You know, and I, you know, I left that conversation alone. And for her to come here and be confident and yeah. and explain what that looked like at that time. Yeah. You because know. you never know what somebody's dealing with, you know, mm-hmm. even beyond. You know, sometimes we've got a mass thing. So it was just beautiful it just being in the same space with both of you guys, you know. Um, and it was very inspiring and and. and like I kind of laugh as I'm thinking about it because like I could even hear in your conversation from your end, like, damn, like the growth, like, you know, cause you knew her prior to, you know, where she is Absolutely. now. So just, you know, even seeing that, you know, growth and elevation and, you know, just, just the energy and the spirit in the room with both of you guys and even re- got some, um, not some, not reassurance, but it, it was comforting to know that I'm not the only one that we, you know, kind of bumped heads at times. Like, she bumped heads with you before, too. So it's <laughs> every, not just me. Every guest so that's that going to be on this podcast has bumped heads with me at some point. Are they still around so me? Is that different that makes now? me feel a little bit better. So, like, okay, y'all, y'all did it. Y'all good. You know, you know, no, I'm just kidding. But you just had to throw that out there. So I was like, oh, that good, girl. Because he be trying it sometimes. I be thinking he be trying to pull me out on purpose. He be trying to be like... Somebody. And I don't. No, I'm, and, I'm just kidding. And yeah. like I, I think that she explained it really yeah. like at a high level. Like she was like, Calvin, you're probably one of the only people like I don't want to lose to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, uh, we've had conversations like you yeah. don't have to lose to me. Like yeah. I just want your information. Yeah, I want to draw and, you out. Yeah, and I feel <laughs> I feel like you. It's not necessarily a, a a pick or anything, but you are just pulling out even just a deeper a deeper level of thinking like a deeper le- a deeper deeper level of conversation like just to you know like okay if you feel that way why do you feel that way you know like you just or you it, it won't it doesn't even have to be the questions asked just like why but you'll word it to where you got you put a little bit more thought into that and and, and you know it just kind of level of conversation I'm like you try me no, just kidding <laughs> just kidding no and, and, and I mean that's I mean let's be honest that was the truth what you were trying me? Or your you, thoughts? No, 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 no. Yeah, but I'm just, not that he's trying me. But I, I just at first I'm like, dang, like, not that it was a a confrontation or anything like it that. Was but a... no, no, I'm talking about early on, not even that one day, <laughs> but not that one day, but just that one day, yeah, not that one day. That was, we took a little up. We didn't even get to um, post that episode. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, but. The, um, just the getting a deeper, higher level conversation is yeah. all the intent behind it. Yeah, one thousand percent. And I like I I'm on to highlight that episode just because, uh, not just because like people know like anytime I've had uh, like conversations with people about this podcast as far as like bringing people along, I think C explained it very like intensely. Yeah. Like, Calvin thinks about this at a high level. Yes. And anybody involved with it, he has already thought past right. anything you're thinking. Right. And and I, that that resonated with me too because we had had a conversation prior and I was like, that makes like her um, kind of solidifying that. And I, I know we had already or confirming that, giving mm-hmm. bringing confirmation because we had already talked about that, how when we had our one-on-one interview back in December that just from that episode that you had with me, I had no idea that you were already processing in your head, you know, and even listening to how Raven's voice and my voice would match up on an episode. Like, so like, so fast forwarding to last week's episode, when she said that it was, it brought it all together. It's like confirmation. Like he had been doing this back in December. He had already, you know, had a plan, you know, and thought yeah, on it on such a high level. Nothing's nothing's random for me. Yeah. And, and, like, Which, I, I, and I think that, that <laughs> and I kudos and salute to you because I think that is a gift. That is a gift that you can see 
Now, some people can only see what's in front of them, mm-hmm. right? And I feel like it is a heightened gift to be able to see, like, I can do this and I can do that, and this is what that can be. And you can see, like, years down the road. Is You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even say years. I just see a plan. Yeah. Like, I, like for me, uh, it, it, it's a gift and a curse. Be- and I think that, that that version of me only exists because of my kitchen and you know how I cook like yeah, I yeah. have to see what it looks like bef- like my mind has to see what it looks like before I create yeah, it yeah yeah same thing with the podcast now like I have to see it but I'm I don't sit here and and like bullshit people yeah. like, I, I really want to put people in positions I yeah. really want people to like understand like what this could be yeah yeah at a high level yeah like, this could be bigger than anyone's dreams not yeah. my dreams but because I know where I want to kind of put this podcast and it's not even it's not even put it in the high low i want to build off of it right. so like we start here we'll do something else there'll be another streaming service eventually that will come through as far as like the podcast goes uh, we've talked about it yeah. as far as like uh the can we eat show like yeah. that's still in production right yeah. now i'm yeah. working on that every day like on my off times yeah I don't think I get many off times, but like yeah. I'm still working on that idea. Yeah. And and see, I think she she gets it because right. hours upon hours of dialogue. Yeah. And so it was amazing having her. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, just the, the audio just didn't work. Like uh, this is a, I, I'm gonna need a whole new like SD card here in like the next day or two because this this stuff is just, it's it's so stressful. Like, but yeah, be yeah. professional. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. I know. Well, I don't know, but I, I could imagine. I know, kind of. That makes sense. <laughs> I get so, it. So your friend, uh, Nancy. Let's jump into that. All right. So um, my friend Nancy and I were having a conversation, um, and it came up about, and I want to word it right. Um, women planning date outings with the guy that they're dating. So what does that look like as far as a male perspective Mm -hmm. and female perspective? Like girls, like women, are you guys, are you okay? Like planning and taking your guys out on a date or taking um, your guy out shopping? Like, you know, what does that look like? As a man, are you comfortable with a woman doing that for you? Or do does that make you feel not less than, but all, also a, a way that she kind of worded it is, you know, keeping the masculinity and feminine, like, separated. Like, what? how do you feel if you're, if a woman was like, hey, babe, get dressed, I'm taking you out to dinner, right? Right, so... In the last situation that I had, right, I had, I did tell this guy, I was like, hey, I want to take you out, right? I was like, I'm not telling you where you're going. We're going. It's a surprise. So, he, I mean, he's a little bit older than me, not super old, but he's early 40s or whatever. And was he early 40s? He's probably 40 something now. Maybe not then. Anyway, um, I don't know. I guess that's neither here nor there. But anyway, like, he was like, um, I want to know, like, I want to know something. Like, he did, he wasn't comfortable not knowing what we were doing and not, not knowing where we were going. I guess just as a man, like, wanting to have control of the situation, like, I don't know. And then he was like, first of all, don't be taking me nowhere to where another nigga took you. I don't like that. Like, I was like, okay, is that, let me go down. Like, some, I met, I know of some good places from other people, but that's neither here nor there. But, I mean, we went, it was okay, but I feel like, he's like, next time I don't want to, I don't want to do no surprises. Like, he, I think he just wanted to be the man in the relationship. Thoughts or feelings on that. And they say, I hope I explained that correctly. No, you did. Absolutely. Like, I'm just looking at this picture, like, this is probably some fucking SD card. Oh, no. It's getting annoying. But we're going to keep going. Uh, I, I, well, we'll have to see what the problem is. But okay. um, uh, a woman How about wants to bring me out. Take you out. Mm-hmm. Her paying for it. Do you feel comfortable with women paying for dates? 
Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Do you like that? Do you like? I mean, that's not what I search for. Like, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not out in the streets. Like, yo, sure, you going? You have enough money to like take me out? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that, not, how does that sound? Like, like you gonna not, take me out? And that's not how I move. You know, but like, it's always nice because traditionally, uh, not because I'm a male. It's or alpha I'm a, male. I'm a chef. Oh. So food is very difficult for women around me. Like in general. Okay. Restaurants wise too. So I, I never have a problem with people taking me, taking me to um, the same restaurant they took the dudes to. Because the dudes have no idea what I'm about. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. dudes have no idea that I've experienced Korean food. I've been to New York, California. Like, I've been around. Yeah. You know, so I never... Th- that competition element doesn't affect me. Okay. But um, say I, I met a person who was from either city, like L.A. or New York or whatever the case may be. Like, I don't care because I know for a fact you not going to show me something I've never had before. Yeah. So at that point, you have to show me what I like. Okay. In that opinion. Uh, but no, I, I just... I Less than. Yeah, like, you know how... Um, I, I feel like some men don't like a woman to just come in and take control. You know what I'm saying? Like... I encourage they, women to take control. Okay. Like, I, okay. I really... I, show me some shit. Yeah. yeah okay yeah yeah like so come in and because i do feel like sometimes men do like okay sometimes women expect the guy mm-hmm. to take them on dates and take them and do x y and z and buy them gifts but at sometimes a man a man wants to feel like i'm appreciated so you can plan something. For, so I told her I didn't mind planning dates. You know, I, I am a giver. Like, that is my thing. I like, I like surprising. I like going all out. So it's not... Generally, it is like... We have to define special. what a giver is for women, right? So does that bar the basic things that a woman should receive versus what you traditionally ex- expect as an adult? Like what? What does that look like? So for me, I've heard that word before, and I don't even know what that means. So I, for me, I can't speak on everybody. <laughs> for me, I am. I generally go, and I don't like to put it all out there because then I'm like, okay, like this. Everybody doesn't get that high level mm-hmm. of attention. I'm in love with. You know what I'm saying? But there's almost. No level of like there's no what's the word I'm looking for almost like there's no extent of what I won't do for you you know what I'm saying like um I'm not trying to put on my game I don't care you know what I mean like no so so um like and and for me I am going to do things that so gifts out the Spot water on. yeah I'm, I'm i'm gonna pull the gifts out the water like you probably can't <laughs> outgive me um and then also i'm gonna do things that we might have a conversation and we might have a dialogue where you share something with me that you experienced early on in life like you might say you know i my grandmother did x y and z for me and i'm gonna remember that and i'm going to try to do something just as special or maybe even try to replicate that same gift that your grandma gave to you because it was that special to you does that make sense like so i when i say a giver like i'm i'm giving not just buying material things but i'm putting my heart into what i'm giving you does that make sense so i feel like i'm a on a high level like it's it's more than just monetary like my like they're also gonna mean something. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a deep level of meaning when I give. I give with my heart. Absolutely. And and uh, the only reason I ask you that question is because like the definition of giver is giving things that are monetary, right? Um, I think that a lot of people think that. That's why I said for me. I think mm-hmm. mostly people, you know, give and they put a value to it. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for you uh, this is not an interview. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to know, like, 
that definition really resonates with me because people ask that of me, but I do a lot of stuff that doesn't traditionally give to them directly. Okay. But like I, I put a lot of people in a lot of situations. Yeah, like I, yeah. I'm the like in between person for a mm-hmm. lot of bullshit and people don't understand that. Which is another reason why like I'm I'm tired of like people hitting me on the uh, about the podcast stuff like it's a simple task. Um but like what is it what is it mean like audience? Like what does that even look like? What what makes you a true giver if you're gonna use those terms? I think I just explained it. It it goes deeper than just monetary. It's not, you know what I mean. I, I, I when you give somebody something, it's like I'm giving of my time. I'm giving of my because time is one thing that is very, very, very like I can't ex, um, express the importance of time to me because time is the one thing that I can never get back. That is the one thing that I can never get back. So if I'm giving you my time, if I'm taking out, you know, time to spend with you, you know, that's time that I can be spending with my son. That's time that I can be spending with my mom. That's time I can be spending, you know, making money. That's time that, you know, that's, that's something that I can never give back. So that in itself is, yes, is, is very, it holds a high weight. So I feel like when I'm spending time, like in a relationship or whatever, if I'm choosing to be here, like, don't take this for granted, like, because I don't have to be here. So that's one thing. So I, and then, like I said, I, when I'm giving, I put my heart and I put my soul into it. You know, when I'm, I think what I was saying is like, how do you get, cause so, so value is value yeah, right? yeah, yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah. How do you get other people to value that? That, I think that's what I was getting oh, at. Oh, like, okay, okay. Like, wh- how how is your time important to someone else's time? Like, how does that how does it even make sense? Because, like, so if if you're creating well, an entity, right, and you're saying my time is valuable, so I don't feel like my time is more valuable than theirs. That's it. Yeah, yeah I don't. I definitely don't because just like I want you to value my time, I I understand that. In the same way that I could be doing something else, you can too. So I'm going to appreciate your time. And this is something that I've even had to learn when I get older. Like when I, when I try, let's say I'm on a date or Mm. even hanging out with my friends. Like I've, one thing that I've tried to do is to stop being on my phone as much Mm -hmm. because this time in this moment. As I'm on my phone. (laughs) As he picks it up. I think that's just a big thing with our generation, right? Um, Is... We're losing a lot of time on social media or on devices or, on, you know, like when you go to restaurants and you see kids on their phone, you know, when it, like 20 years ago, we didn't have that. Like when we went out to eat with our parents, we went out to eat and we were talking with our family and we were interacting. But so much time, you know, when you go out and you see little kids and they have an iPad propped up in front of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's just it's time that is just they're never going to get that moment back, you know? So I even try to be more present when I'm in a relationship and I'm here, like we're spending this time together. I didn't come over here to be on my phone. You know what I mean? Um, when I'm hanging out with my friends, I'm, I'm trying to be more present because your time is just as valuable as mine. So I'm, I'm trying to just be present in that moment. If that makes sense. Absolutely. That's, that's one thing that's very valuable to me. Yeah. It's just like doing something. Yeah. Like, I, I went through a whole year of not doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and it, we're at the point now, like, I'm doing a lot. Yeah. So. Uh, I think we're we're on the same page with that. Like For sure. It's, but yeah. And I, yeah. I encourage even people that are listening to this pos- podcast, just try to be more present in, you know, the people around you's life, you know, because, you know, it, you can't get it back. That's, but that's still a scare. That, that, that's a scare. do a lot for someone. But not be around them. Yeah. And them equate that as if you didn't do it a lot. Like any any conversation that I have with anybody, any any person I'm around, right? Like I don't have like like I, I guess I can say this now, but um, Kess and Javon, mm-hmm. that was the first time we were in the same room in yeah, fifteen yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So like I can still be present with a conversation and mm-hmm. I can move the same way I move now. But when it comes to that, like I can have 
fluid conversations though speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, and I agree with that. You know, I'm I'm not I'm just saying um in each other's presence mm-hmm. be present. You know what I'm saying? Cuz it could have been let's say outside the podcast, right? They you haven't seen them in 15 years. They come in the room and the, and then everybody's on their phone. Mm-hmm. Well, you're not really being present in that moment is what I'm saying. You know, I think a lot of time people spend time with each other. You can be in the room with family members and everybody be in your be on their phone and I just think in that moment just Absolutely. be present with each other is what I mean. If that makes sense. Have you experienced that? Like is your own personal? Like you just being you like you ever I have been guilty of not not planning on being on my phone, yeah, but but get caught up in the moment, get caught up on looking on something on social media, and and somebody is trying to have a conversation with you, and you're on your phone. So and, and then I kind of feel like that's a little bit disrespectful too when somebody's trying to talk to you when you're on your phone. Like I need I I contact, you know what I mean? But so yes, I have been guilty of you know getting caught up and being not present. So I I mean I think everybody can work on that, you know. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. You just post something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all are all getting bitches. I was confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, I think the end result, or as far as like what we're going to talk about moving forward, um, the vaccine thing. Yes. I knew there was um, one more thing. So, me and my dad got in an argument. And he didn't know it was an argument because he thought I was just, like, agreeing with him. But I was definitely, like, not happy with what he was Uh-oh. saying. So, it was uh, getting escalated. It was uh, getting heated? Kind of? Mm, that conversation can never escalate with me and my parents now. Oh, okay. But, um... That's, that's good. <laughs> my dad had hit me uh, a couple of days ago. Um, he, he was on the fence of, like, did you, like... I actually didn't explain to him because I'm, but um, I said no, mm-hmm. and he had a problem with it. Okay, and he gave me every kind of reason in the world why I should get it. Like your cousins, your your uncles, your yeah. they 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 mean they have COVID. Like this, this, and this. Yeah. And I was like, Dad, I told you like literally six months ago. I'm not getting it mm-hmm, until mm-hmm. I understand it. Yeah. I don't get things because of whatever it is. Like, I get things because I understand them. And then, of course, not his response, but most people's response is like, you have to get an HPV vax to go to college. You have to get this for this. You have to get a flu shot every year. But I have got to a point where I'm like, all right, so I didn't do something right for a year plus. Like, I didn't move correctly. Right. You know, for a year plus. And not saying that, like, I didn't come in contact with those kind of, like, viruses and things like that. But, like, why do I want to do it? Like, yeah. what's the point? And I understand, like, there's millions of people who have gone through the struggle and, and, and been a part of it. My people haven't. Yeah. So, that was my response. And he's going to listen to this. And I want you to know that. It's like, No. So, I did get the first dose. Okay. Um, I am scheduled to go back and get my second dose. I originally felt the exact same way. Um, I was on the fence. I just felt like it came out too fast. We didn't know a whole lot about it. So, from the beginning, I never said, no, I'm never going to get it. I said... I definitely did. If you guys will listen to the Courtney... And Raven episode that is currently the most highly rated episode on the podcast. I definitely said no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I, I just wanted to wait. I just wanted to wait and kind of like, you know how you're like, let the first batch go out. You mm-hmm. know, um, even when they started opening stuff back up, I didn't go out right away. I was like, let the first wave go through and then I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side. That's kind of how I felt with the vaccine. I just wanted to see what would happen. Are people going to start losing their arms? Are they going to start, you know, growing extra toes? Like, didn't see anything extreme happening. And actually, my son wanted to get vaccinated. And um, so I was definitely supportive of him getting vaccinated. When we went to get his vaccine, then he talked me into getting the vaccine. And you know what? I was like, you know what? I, for my son, I'm going to be supportive. I'm going to go ahead and get it with him. Um, so that's how I ended up getting the vaccine. I didn't have any intention of getting the vaccine that day. Um my thing is, I just feel like 
people have the right to make their own decisions. And I don't feel like either side should guilt trip either side on the decision that they make. That's my thing. I, I it kind of, and even, and even from the beginning, like I had, um, me and my cousin are both in the healthcare, um, field. Um, so we talk about different things. Um, she got hers earlier than I got mine. And, you know, we had talked about it, you know, um, and I never, I'm like, okay, you know, just this, you know, X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z. We discuss it, but I never was like, oh my God, you shouldn't have did it. Or, oh my God, you should, or, you know, never try to make her feel guilty or make her feel a, a way for her making that decision. I, I didn't, I was like, I'm still going to wait, which is, you know, but, and she never made vice versa. She never made me feel a way or tried to push me or tried to force me into getting it. Like it, I did when I did and she did when she did. And, you know, we even coexisted. Like we still were around each other. She was vaccinated. I wasn't at the time. And it, it we, we cool. Like, so I feel like it's like blood and cribs. Like, damn, like that's what it, everybody is making it now. Like I it's think two it, sides and it, it don't have to be like we're against each other. You know what I That's why I said earlier. Like I think that the vaccine politics and religion is on the same energy yeah now. like just because you don't believe like it's, it's it's that now yeah and it's like bloods and crypts like we on this side we the we we back you unbacked like is, is that's what that's what we doing these against the uvs like is that what it is it's just it's too much it's, it is too much that's like, why I, like i think I hate, I hate the slander like i really see people are like Ooh, I don't trust the unvaccinated, and ooh, like you know, like no, what? I think like, I, I, I really think it's a it, it's it's a conversation that um, truly shouldn't exist, right? Because like uh, my ideal and what I've seen is is the people who have been vaccinated just can do whatever they want now. It's like an I, anarchy. Yeah, thing. that's and, but and I don't even move like that. Like I still feel no like, one who doesn't have the vaccine moves like that. That's why I think that there's a, 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 a misconception as far as like the people who have it, who didn't have it, who don't want it. That's the problem. Like the people who never was really outside, it's like, yeah, why? Yeah. But I do feel like there's a, a, a middle ground, right? Like I feel like there's some people who are vaccinated that still want to be safe. Like, I don't feel like just because I'm getting the vaccine that my mask is coming off. I st- Guess what? People are still now. All- I- 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 so I'm still going to put my mask on because I don't I'm trust I'm, them. They're I'm nasty. Gonna ask, I'm going to ask you a question. You get produce. Yes. How do you get the produce? I get the produce from the top and up under. So how do you bag the produce? I bag it with my hand. Mm, that's the red flag. I'm washing all my stuff when I get home. That's not. That's not the point of grabbing produce. Well, I well, <laughs> I I touch mine with my hands. But however, <laughs> I'm getting it from up under. I'm not. I have been. Do you in think the, the up under is the safer version of the top when grabbing yes. produce? Yes. It's not true. Well, I, but I have, from what I have seen, I have witnessed little kids touch all the stuff on the bottom. Mm-hmm. I even have seen a kid in Walmart, I kid you not, at, in the front, open up the ice cream thing, pick it up, lick the outside of it, and put it back in. That's why I don't mess with anything at the bottom or anything on the top. I'm getting my stuff from up under and I'm getting my stuff on the top. I would, I, there, Certain Walmarts, I mean, certain HEBs have um, fruit that are just in the middle. Where mm-hmm. no, 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 I don't get that fruit. I will not if um, grapes, peaches, anything <laughs> are right there. Mm-hmm. Then I'm just not gonna get peaches that day. You know what I'm saying? Like I, because the cough, <coughs> all that. So even if somebody coughs, that even if you grab it with your hands, if somebody coughs, they coughed all over it. Technically. Even so, if you grab it with the bag. So when it comes to the foods, like you, the the top is not your importance. I mean, that's not the the safest part of a fruit is a top. Did you get to wash them? But because you're thinking about kids touching, you're talking about certain parts. Where do fruit flies live? I don't be seeing no fruit flies. I think they put all that stuff. But let me tell you, I do peel everything. I don't even eat the fuzz off peaches no more. <laughs> like I, that gets peeled. With a um, an apple peeler, and I don't know about anybody else, but I I don't touch any of that skin and stuff. I don't eat. 
I know you're trying to be as safe as possible. Brittany's trying to be as safe as possible. I, I am. I don't fuck around. <laughs> uh, but when it comes to uh, in-store fruits, um, the best thing to do is soak them in vinegar. The whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the top is just like a shield, just like most things, right? You, you rip that off, yeah, yeah, but yeah. they already in there. So, mm, I don't want to weird you out, but like the fruit, the way the fruits work, like the inside of them. But don't they have the, um, the layer of, what do they put on it? What they, they spray on the fruits and stuff to where they have Pesticides? that. Pesticides? Is that what it is? What is <laughs> that's that what layer? it is. is that, what's that layer that's on the outside of fruits? We talked about it before. I don't know, but that's why what you guys told me a long time ago to boil fruits before eating them. Was a fruit. Let it cool off to absolutely, it. absolutely. So I, I'll tell you guys this, right? Um, so when it comes to fruits, vegetables, there. Are, so, so how do you walk into the restaurant? How do you walk into a grocery store? With my mask on now. But does the door slide open? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You don't think things can get in there? If the yeah. door just slides open. When you're when you open the door to your home, things can get in it. Exactly. So I, I think that the the. Pre- the, the ideal of um, fruits being fruits and vegetables being secure are crazy. And I'll be honest with you, where are the fruits closest to when you walk in? By the door. So you have to, you, you, you can't sit here and say like... I'm not saying everything is squeaky clean. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying the process of it, right? Yeah. Because... But I'm gonna do the best I can at washing my stuff. Absolutely, and, I'm putting and that's my mask on. that's the point, though. Yeah. You do it absolutely all you can, yeah. but I want to I want I want to educate people. Yeah. Like where it's crazy that the fact is the fresh fruits are the first things that you walk in to see. Yeah, in any restaurant, mm-hmm. any kind of grocery store. Right, right. Um, that doesn't mean the groceries are bad. Sorry, guys. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I, I didn't sit there and say that the groceries yeah. are bad, but like. You have to you have to take a look. I think I, I talked to Robin. I was like, yo, I've been buying lemons and limes for, forever. Yeah, and yeah. I'm tired of these fruit fries. I'm like, yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm annoyed. Uh, how do I get these motherfuckers out of here? Yeah, yeah. But you have to deal with the idea of like bringing fruits to your home. Fruit flies are in the fruits. That makes sense. <laughs> I, I, I'm following that. <laughs> that makes sense. Like they're in the fruits. You can vinegar them, you can wash them, you can do everything you want to in the universe. But fruit flies are actually in the fruits. That's why they're called fruit flies. I guess my body is used to them. <laughs> they're, they're not. The majority of the fruit flies are not bad but, for you. Because we eat bugs every day. When you sleep, bugs are in your mouth. Listen, I had a, I had an experience. You know, uh, Robin, you remember the, uh, the, the park that's up the street? Mm-hmm. Basketball court. I decided to do that on my first day at work. And I went out there... I think a whole bug was like, like, like I was, like, <laughs> I was like, I'm never working out here again. <laughs> I'm never going back. <laughs> I didn't know it was deadly. I don't. Know, I know a bug hit you in the face. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that, I hate that. A whole bug hit you in the face, and I was like, I swallowed it. Like I'm gonna die. Like what the what? What was the bug? I didn't know. I didn't know the profile. It's kind of like sucking dick, and not knowing who the person is, right? No, I think that's a bit extreme. You think so? Yeah, just a little. Bit. Go- really? Apple, lemon. Hey, two different things. Goy holes? No, no, no. I don't know about that. <laughs> that's out of my area of expertise. <laughs> I was trying to look up how many bugs do we sleep in, I mean, eat in our lifetime. And then I hear um, sucking dick and you don't know who it belongs to. Like, it just, I was. It just, I isn't mean, that a glory hole? Uh, right? I isn't that the idea? I, like, you just put your dick in the. Shit. <laughs> that, I, that, I just, that. The scary movie, too? Didn't Keisha get her shit blown out by a glory hole? Scary movie, too. You're taking me back. Did she, I think so. I think you're right. It's him. Gloria, that's so gross. That's so gross. No, it was him. It was the dude. Uh, There's King. just things that I don't want to ever experience in my life. and You don't experience the glory hole? No. I have no desire. If you pay for it? If I pay for it? If you paid for it. If you paid for it. Like, yo, shorty, just pull up here. Mm-mm. 
pay for it? Like, why would I pay to suck a dick? I'm saying, like, for porn star purposes. purposes. Like, I get paid? For sucking a dick that's out of a glory hole? Still no. <laughs> a dick in my I thought you were at, asking if I wanted to pay. So I'm giving you $20 and then you put a dick in my hand. No, I'm not going to pay. <laughs> that's not a drive through Like, it's not... Chick fil A. I don't want that. Dick fil A. Dick fil A. <laughs> don't want that either. I'm, I'm, I'm doing well for myself. That's not necessary. Y'all figure out what we're talking about because I was just trying to like fill in. It went all the way left. <laughs> We can have a whole porn episode. I feel like, so I've had a lot of um, fun feedback. Thursday, our, um, uh, what what was it? Freaky Freaky Thursday that we had. So we'll have to run that back and do like a Freaky Freaky Thursday 2.0 and then get into some other nitty gritty conversations. Things. Anal? We can talk about that on that episode. I'm not going to give up all the deets to this one right now, but we can definitely <laughs> tap into that anal pleasure. <laughs> so exciting. I can't wait now. <laughs> Cannot wait. I know you guys can't wait for it either. Sex is so fun. Sex talk is fun. I feel like sex talk is fun and um, a lot of people are educated like on just different stuff. Like sometimes you get a male's perspective on things that men like that maybe women don't do and vice versa. Like men get a perspective. Uh, perspective on some things that we like some things that we don't like that they think we like you know so what's one thing that you think that men think women like uh, one thing that men think that women like mm -hmm. so I think a lot of men think that women like getting their ass licked and I don't I personally don't like oh, that ass. yeah like I don't like my ass getting licked I don't like the um, <laughs> The like the wet. The only time my ass should be wet is when I get in the shower. Like that's it. Like that. I don't, well, I don't. There should be no juiciness. Like I don't no like juiciness. that. No juiciness. Like what do you do after? Like have you had your ass ate? I have, the, and it just wasn't for me. Like, like you got I up need a whole towel. Dripping? It wasn't that dripping. Like, um, but I need. To, let me let me wipe off a little bit. Did he start there? Was it like no, that? he didn't start. Like oh, you can. <laughs> you're doing too much. That's all. And then I'm gonna leave the rest for the episode that we do. <laughs> See, good times on the Can We Talk podcast. Yeah, for sure. I think people think we. I tried. I think a lot of problems was like when we started because we're coming up on episode twenty, five months in, which is crazy. Five months in, we've been doing this for five months. It's good. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Um, I always want to, like I said, um, 10 in. Brittany, you have any issues? Like, any ideas? Like, you have to, you should talk about these things before the 10th. Okay. The 20th. I think, okay, we can, we can, we can definitely have an in-depth discussion. Uh, we can, I think we can have a dis uh, discussion offline. No. Let's yes. do it now. Nope. Let's do it now. Because I don't have all my thoughts, my thoughts nope. together. What's problems? What, what's no, problem? I'm nope. not talking about any problems. I don't have any problems. Mm, you sure? Yeah. I'm, I'm I didn't know that either before part 10. <laughs> no, I didn't. That was that day. We talked about that. It was just a lot going on that day, personally. But no, no, no. Um, no, I don't have any problems. Um, but I, I just feel like we can have a conversation amongst us. Like, you know, I have ideas, but I also don't want to step on any toes. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, that's why I said we can have a conversation about that offline. Part I don't all over again. This, no, no. You, you, you definitely wanted to step on toes then. No, now, I didn't. No, you. That was you stepping oh, on to, toes. Part 10 again. No, no, no. I that said was you. toes? Yes, you was, you was going for <laughs> You, we don't. If, if you really want to talk about, you really trying to go there because yes, you were getting in your feelings, and uh -huh. then you act like you weren't in your feelings, but you definitely got in your feelings on that episode. You did, absolutely. Okay, but you in the moment you were like, no, I'm not mad. I'm not mad, but you were mad. Absolutely, that's the whole I, point of tens. Is yeah. getting your feelings. Yeah, it's it's fine. <laughs> we both got in our feelings, and we have done well. Absolutely fucking Gross. Gross. <laughs> this is 
is the seat. This is just butt loose. That was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I just turned it off. Uh oh. I didn't even get to do my quote. No, not the episode. Oh. I think that. Um... I got a good one. Which I want to talk about next. Just yeah. I'm just listening. Okay. <laughs> You're looking at her. What are you going to talk about next? We got one more conversation left in this. Let me see. You can talk about your um, adult self. Oh, you yeah, let's yeah. use that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, what's the question? What's the true question? So, the question is you want the exact question? Mm hmm. <laughs> if your adult self could tell your childhood self one thing, what would it be? You answer first. Me answer first? Mm hmm. Childhood, yeah. Your adult self could give your child. Don't be afraid to take risk. Don't be afraid of failure. To step out and go for what you want. Hunger gonna fail. And but she's gonna. I would tell myself to, um, yeah, definitely don't be afraid to take risk and go for what you want. Um, shoot for the stars. Sometimes you're gonna have people that believe in you. Sometimes you will have people that may not believe you, believe in you. Um, fuck them. Continue to go after what you want. Um, I think we talked about on one of the other episodes, um, just how sometimes you're support who you think might support you or have your back it it, it it may look a little bit different right so it may look like you may expect to have all the support oh i know so and so got my back i know so and so is going to support me and encourage me and you know um advocate for me um and it doesn't always end up that way and i don't think you should put a lot of energy in that um just continue to move forward and be happy and lean on the ones that do have your back lean on the ones that do support you so yeah like i said i think i would just tell my um childhood self that don't be afraid afraid to take risk and you want what else i'm skin um <laughs> so, so what what would you tell your what would your adult self tell your childhood self um <laughs> uh so for me it's just um understanding where you are kind of idea um like you said like you were talking about not knowing things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for me it's like i knew like, I knew I was going to be dope. Like, I always in my mind, like, there's no way I'm not going to be dope. There's yeah. no way I'm not going to be this. Uh, whatever it is. And not being boxed in. You know, the early version of me, the, the, the kid version, the younger version of me, uh, wanted to be boxed in. And for progression-wise, like, I've always tried to focus on one thing at a time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I should have done that. Like, because mm. I can't be boxed in. Yeah, yeah. Like, my thoughts have always been... Uh, extremely high at a high level yeah. and my, my thoughts have always been like on multiple things but yeah. early on I was like if I don't focus on this then this will not be what it needs to be if I focus on this this won't be what it needs to be type energy but like that's not the truth Yeah, yeah. it's not the truth a every single soul in this world can focus on multiple things multitask and, and be successful at everything yeah. you don't have to take away from your ideas just because you think that the ideal growing up was like if you don't focus on something, you're not there. Or you're not but, gonna get it done. Exactly. Um, that's just not that's not what I would want to illustrate to the younger version of myself. Yeah. Because it I mean it, it ended up molding me to who I am, but like there's just there's there's no way that you should be uh, classified as one thing. Yeah. I've moved away from the food stuff for a long time, but yeah. it keeps coming back. It's in you. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, we love it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, just, you know, just telling my younger self, like, yo, you don't have to be focused on one thing. Yeah. Like, you have talent. And if you have talent in multiple places, you yeah. can place those talents in all those places and Absolutely. not be scared of what happens after. Absolutely. 100% agree. We the shit. <laughs> we the shit. I do say so myself. Sometimes you got to pat yourself on the back, God damn it. You got you to gotta be as real as possible. And, yeah. I, and uh, something Marissa had said, she... And something we, I guess, we agreed on in that episode was just like, yo... You're not going to be as successful as you want to be expecting people around you to make that success. Yeah. Like the second you get outside of the city. Yeah. That's when the success happens. Yeah. And that's, that's something <laughs> when you just excuse yourself to the restroom. That's not, I hit on one of the things that she said as well. Not come from the ones that you expect it to, right? You have an expectation sometimes from certain people and you expect it to look a certain way from cer- some people and it doesn't always end up you know and 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 just appreciate the ones who do have your back you know but don't focus on that don't lose sight and focus and hone in on the ones damn i thought you would have done this for me or i did this for you so i would i expected you you know it don't always work out like that and i think that you know that's one thing that sometimes we learn on the way and think you should like don't don't let that throw you off track Absolutely, I think I, I, like and even just talking about the subject, it, it triggers me crazy because like uh, when I had originally thought of the idea of anything, right? Certain people were around it. Some certain people were it's, it's like about that kind of conversation, but like it's just it's it's a weird dynamic because yeah. you're so emotionally invested and yeah. you expect the people who truly care about you and around you to be emotionally invest, invested but like if you know like really fuck with yeah and now i'm understanding like yo like even if you don't fuck with it that doesn't demean my like i you would come to your closest friends as far as an idea right mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's just not what the idea is probably meant for yeah like you're thinking past your friends and, and yeah. they're probably thinking the same thing past you yeah. as well and you know, like, I, shout out to the Chef Cal page. Shout out to the, the Can We Talk podcast page because, like, um, Facebook is petty as fuck. It will tell you exactly who out of your friends group actually looked like your page. Mm-hmm. So the Chef Cal page, I'm currently sitting at 3,500 people. Only 125 people that are actually your friends on my Facebook follow that page. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh-huh. <laughs> they give you this... The yeah. statistics and they give you all that stuff. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not but I'm pressing more now because I'm like, all right, you guys have people that I know have been like pressed to the the situation at a high level, but it's it it, it it's just it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's emotional. Like you, you feel it. Like yeah. you it, like I think that people people when they create something like you feel it, and then when someone doesn't like it or not involved with it, you feel that even worse. Yeah. Agreed. But you can't stay there. Keep going. Absolutely. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to say? Yeah, I, I, and I kind of have a quote that kind of it kind of ties into what we're talking about right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so this our quote for the week is shoot for the moon because even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Fucking crickets is like I'm listening to the crickets on my my shit. You hear it? I don't even hear him. Stop talking for two seconds. You don't hear nothing? Nah, I think the wine got you heightened. (laughs) Y'all just. (laughs) Yeah, I hear it now. (laughs) All right. But my my headphones wasn't this loud. Right. That's the point. Because I don't want to blast in your ears. I know, but how you hear it with the turn down? Because I'm focused on audio. <laughs> that wine got you heightened. Not even that. I'm focused on audio. That's now my job. Now I can hear that. Hmm? Because I turned it down. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. We've had a wonderful episode. Amazing episode. Yeah. Good Good conversation. Good dialogue. Shout out to Sierra. Like I, I, like, it was like two, three hours of pure content great content but like from start to finish. i recorded the stuff she didn't want to be out so like 
I think the first, you know, start of the podcast was great. The uh, energy in the actual mixture went yeah. out, battery died. Yeah, yeah. And I hit record right after that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she was like, I don't want to talk about I don't want this to be recorded. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we talked for a good 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was all recorded. And then I hit it again. But for that reason, you know, the mixture didn't take what I, it just, it didn't work. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the, we, we, we got a great, amazing conversation. You know, yeah. shout out to C. Like, C is a very important, she's integral amazing. part. Um, um, she's smart, intelligent, beautiful, amazing, once again. Um, but we, we took the we, we took care of the quote, so we're good? Yes, we're good. All right, this is the Camera Talk Podcast, episode 18. Um, we're going to have a check-in in two episodes. Hopefully, Raven will be back in the building. Back uh, in the building for the 2 For the 20 <laughs> you guys enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you for listening. All right. We out.